Okay, so this video is gonna look a little bit different than some of my normal videos because there's not gonna be any animals in it, um, which is a bummer, I know. Um, but I'm gonna be doing something that is a big part of science and it's maybe a little nerve wracking to do on camera, which is learning how to do something new. Um, so I'm working on setting up an experiment and for that experiment, I need to pump water from one side of my tank to the other side of my tank. And I'll actually explain why I'm doing this experiment in another video. Um, but for here, I just wanted to talk about learning this new skill. So I need to make things that look like this, which have a pump at one side that takes water in one angle, pushes it out of another, and that plugs into the wall. Very simple, right? But for some reason, the way that you buy these is you get a pump that is just what I want, but as this, right? That's not helpful to anybody. So I have to be able to connect this to one of these things, which is a universal adapter. I'm not gonna be teaching you how to do this because I'm clearly not qualified to teach you how to do this um, because I just learned how to do it, like literally, I don't know, less than 10 minutes ago. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be conducting them. I think it's a very easy thing. I like watch how to do it. I learned how to do it. It seems really easy. I'm just gonna be soldering two wires together wrapping it in this thing that shrink wraps onto it and holds it in place. Um, and then I'll have what I need, but I've never done this before. And that's a little bit scary, especially because it involves something hot and something kind of finicky. Wish me luck and don't give me any comments where I'm doing it wrong, unless it's like, it's shocking that you're still alive kind of wrong because sometimes in science, um, you just need to do it. my pump putting it in the water um and let's plug it in and hope that this is not a video of my death and that this is a video of my triumph of learning how to solder something so let's see this is not a triumph okay i'm back um i think i might have soldered it correctly i went and talked to my soldering mentor so it's good to have a mentor when you learn new things um you can change the voltage on this thing and I had it set to be like extremely low like there was no actual power getting to my thing so I may have done everything right I may just not know how to read so you get this like cool little key you can change Oop. I can hold a cool little key you turn your cool little key off the, low Oop. Off the lowest setting and now we'll try again okay again putting that in that so I've just done another one and I am like living on a high um I feel very powerful I'm like melting metal and that feels awesome I can already tell this is the kind of thing that in the future I'm gonna look back and be like I can't believe I didn't know how to do that that there was ever a point that I didn't it's not very hard um but it was scary right like I didn't know how to do this and that's hard it's hard to ask for help when you don't know how to do something it's hard when you don't know how to do something to even know what it is you don't know how to do um, but it was great and I learned a new thing and whether I think whether the new thing that you're learning is something like how to solder two wires together or how to do organic chemistry it's scary starting out it can be scary while you're doing it um, but these are good things for us to go through and they're part of what it means to be a scientist at every step of our journey we keep learning and that's one of the reasons that I love this job is that I get to keep learning things keep growing keep improving and um, keep doing science it's great talking to you guys. Bye. Hi guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and definitely check out some of our other videos either here on the YouTube or um, on Instagram or on scial.org. Um, we look forward to chatting science with you next time.